Hello, I'm James Clark, Managing Director of ADAS Soils, Crops and Water Research Unit. I'm really pleased to be able today to explain to you how our ownership by RSK has allowed us to invest in a new Category 2 glasshouse. This glasshouse gives us increased capacity and increased facilities through our Category 2 containment. Our glasshouse opened for business in April with Category 2 containment zones, temperature and humidity control. We now have even more capacity to do practical applied research to, to solve current and emerging problems. We were already working on international crops such as soya and maize. We can now do that at home and inoculate with their pests and diseases. As farmers know well to their horror and sometimes benefit, disease and pest levels vary year to year. With our new glasshouse adding the ability to control temperature, humidity and watering, we have further increased reliability to get results on local crops both in and out of season and under conditions more likely to occur as our climate changes. This is already enabling us to deliver further essential research in areas of global pathology and entomology. As ADAS specialists Phil Walker and Fran Pickering will explain. I'm Philly Walker, I'm an arable plant pathologist, I uh, work here at ADAS and I do a lot of trials work looking at uh, diseases in cereals crops. So specifically what I'm going to talk about today is um, septoria inoculation work which we can now do in our new glasshouse facility. So in seasons like we've had this year where we have long spells of hot and dry weather it means there's little disease development in the crop which limits our research capabilities to study plant diseases and other issues like crop and disease resistance management strategies. So in the controlled environment conditions of our glasshouse, we can inoculate and simulate perfect conditions for diseases such as septoria to develop. So we can deliver solutions to problems in a efficient and timely manner. Hello, my name is Frances Pickering and I'm an entomologist. The glasshouse is useful for us too, as many pests are seasonal. By varying light, shading and temperatures, this allows for an extension to our testing season, or even out of season testing. For example, this winter we'll be carrying out glasshouse trials on aphid virus vectors, which wouldn't be possible in field or in polytunnels. This is important because it allows us to carry out range finding work before seasonal field trials start again next year. Being able to control temperature has also allowed us to carry out work in summer when conditions otherwise would have been too hot in polytunnels. The facility allows us to control conditions like we previously would have done in incubators, but now we can do this on a much larger scale with whole plants. This allows for more realistic testing whilst reducing some of the variation you can find in field experiments. Each glasshouse compartment is fitted with aphid screens and multiple door entrances to prevent the escape or indeed entry of insects. Because for us, it's not only important to have a facility that makes testing non-native pests possible, but also so we can have confidence that when testing pests, other insects aren't introduced from outside into our controlled experiments. I'm really pleased to have had this opportunity to show to you and explain what our glasshouse can help us do for you, our clients. Please get in touch with us.